Warriors. Looking to end day one atop their pool A. Yeah, someone's got to lose, and it's going to be one of these two. This is Priester doing what he can, holding that hard point That's face. Brilliant analysis. Doing, a <laughs> <laughs> doing what they can, hold on to that first bit of time. Six and one already for attack. He's going three. That's on a three suit right now. That's going to be closed out, but still. A nice start for the boys in the red trunks. And one thing I want to go back to replays on, I, I watched replays throw a bottle of water across the arena out of rage when they lost that map to uh, Unilad. Really? On the floor. He was pissed. So I'm wondering if he can keep his composure in this one, if anything goes against them. Uh, you know, again, replays, a super smart player, but very emotional. And I love that about the guy. Yeah, and, and look at right now, the thing that's standing out for me off the break of this game, a very quiet start. Kenny and Accuracy, probably the two most standout players at the CWL Dallas Open, start off a combined one and nine. FaZe Clan still in control of the spawns as TK still flood the front. They do have one player in the hill. It is your CWL Dallas Open MVP Accuracy who gets cut down by that nade from Zuma. Yep, head on, Jack. Straight through the front door. No questions asked. No, they didn't even knock. They just kicked that thing straight down. And in the end, FaZe came on top of that one. 20 seconds ahead now with the final 15 remaining on Winery. As you can see, this is Kenny on your screen. Kenny has been a... The, the kind of the foundation of the success for TK. Like, we find when Kenny's not slaying his crystal heart out, TK kind of fall behind a little bit. Jack, is that a fair analysis? Is that a fair uh, assumption? Yeah, it's what happens when you're kind of the breakout superstar on this team. We'll look in the sky camera here as Gino trying to hold those back spawns at the white barn. Does die. Thankfully, his teammates have mid-street control, so he'll be able to respawn and re-challenge. And whoo! Nice shots right there from Attach. Beams him with that PPSH. Laser accuracy. Still living in the future, this kid. Now he's still making that run happen. Priest in front, leading the way. They're going to break on through the hard point. Zuma's coming in through Ooh. the front. Beautiful snap there on Theory. He's going to be pushing up daisies. 11 and 6 for Zuma right now. Right now, the SMGs of FaZe Clan are dominating the SMGs of TK. If that keeps up, I expect FaZe to run away with this first map. If TK can turn around, which are only down by 35 right now, Miles, they can absolutely come back in this game. But everyone on FaZe right now just doing their job just a little bit better than Team Caliber. Again, Theory, 3 and 11, 3 and 8 from accuracy. Kenny at 4 and 9. Three players over double negative while Chino's trying to kind of carry the rest of the team on his back at 13 and 8. I mean, Chino, he's a positive guy. He wakes up every day feeling good. He said so himself in recon, and he's feeling good right now. And this is accuracy trying to get back into this one. 3 and 8, as you said, Jack. 22 seconds of, of half point time to his name. So he's the only one doing the hard, the objective work for TK. I don't think anyone on phase has streaks as of yet. Priest is 8 and 3. And he did just die to the hands of Theory. So yeah, no streak should be available for, for FaZe, which is a silver lining here for TK. Is now the entry from replays, the follow-up from Priest, the FaZe now back in control of the hard point. Yeah, you see those guys from TK now making their way in through off spawn, charging down. Zuma's got a little bit of a contestion here against Kenny up top, and he Oof. is gonna find the kill there just by the skin of his teeth. As you can see, that perfect overlook he has of the hard point. He's gonna be able to provide cover fire, but again, with that SMG, maybe not the weapon of choice to be used here. This is the exact same setup we saw from FaZe when they played this map earlier. They just let Priesta sit in the hard point and Zuma and Attach fly around. Yes, if there's a time they're needed in the hill, they'll do it. But for the most part, there's never a question. Who's the guy sitting in a hard point? It's Priesta, simple as that. Priest still keeping the run going. One kill to his name will be dropped there. Zuma gets the revenge. And as you see, the players now of FaZe holding on that hard point. Back to the next set of rotations, a full minute now, and FaZe holding on for dear life. You see his players from TK spawning up top, making their way through Chino, shots in. It's gonna be pushed back by Zuma. Great awareness from Zuma. Not only is it great awareness, he's doing a great job of just stopping this push by himself, you know. Forces two players to put their attention just on him. The rest of his teammates clean him on up. Attach already getting aggressive. It's a full kill feed of red now for FaZe. Every single player positive. They're completely destroying our CWL Dallas Open champions on this first map. Dad, did you see this coming? Did you see TK being a little slow off the start here against FaZe? Uh, I mean, is it just down to the fact that they're winning those SMG gunfights? I, like I, I'll say this. FaZe looked exceptional on this map earlier on, so this doesn't surprise me that much. But you also have a poor, poor start from accuracy. Remember I said, I want to see how replays does up against accuracy in this series. Well, here's the thing. Accuracy is getting swarmed by these SMGs because you're just having monster performances out of attach, out of zoom. I mean, the guys have 35 kills combined so far. It, it, it's far and away leading the SMGs of TK. The SMGs ringing out. Accuracy finally getting himself on the board a little bit more. 6 and 14 for him. This is Kenny on your screen there and still trying to make an impact here. Actually kind of caught out in the middle of the road with his pants down. He's going to be slapped all about there by Zuma. And as you said, Jack, there's three players of phase, the three SMG players zooming around, running around, dealing the damage. And you've got replays just laying down that beat, the bar fire from just long range. 
And they're forcing all the players of TK into a tough situation to win this one. Chino's going to get flanked from behind from replays, and now he's kitted out. Players on the turn, doesn't manage to get the kill there, but you can see the scoreboard, that's all that matters. 167 and climbing phase. Looking very comfortable so far, Jack. Priest is in an awkward spot because he wants to stay alive. Look at all the blue arrows around him that will they check this corner. They do. Priest, though, gets killed off by Chino, and here's TK's chance, Miles. It's simple as this. If FaZe can break this hill, this map's done for me. If TK gets a full 60, we have ourselves a game. A little two, two some there, but attach and zoom in out, making their way down throughout, down low. Get, get oh. Nice bit of bayonet work there from Chino. It's going to make it a two. You see Chino now making his way back through mid. He's got those players coming through the field to his left, even though he needs to watch that one. There's attach. He caught wind of him. He's going to wait for the backup, though. You see FaZe running in twos wherever they go. There's always another player with him. And this is great work from Chino. So close. But yeah. no cigar. You can tell Chino's feeling himself right now with how he's playing. 23 and 17. Attach does at least earn one streak. Will clean up one player in the hard points. Still a 60 second game. Phase do break on in. And now they have to fight for this backside push. But with the kill feed looking all red, this will be a break and a hold for Phase. And that for me, Miles, is the dagger, especially considering you still have a glide bomb and fighter pilot available for attach. Attach, man. He's just, and like, like, if he had streaks, it, it wouldn't really matter because right now he's shooting so well. He's just so accurate at the moment. It's impossible to take him down in a one on one gunfight. And if it's, if it's all even ground, attach has got my money every single time. 20 and 14 right now. This is him on your screen. Ah, oh, this FaZe Clan looking very, very hot. But look, TK, no, oh, this just yet, Jack. You just said, Fire Pilot coming out. There's a Stuka for attach. He's going to get one. He's going to do a little bit of damage here. Maybe get Theory through the walls, but it's not going to be enough. I, I don't think TK are necessarily out of this yet, Jack. Can you write off our Dallas champs that quickly? Uh, uh yeah. Actually, done. It's, it's done. The, 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 the FaZe looked so much better with the submachine gun right now. This is a perfect first map pick for them. Absolutely using the Vitos to their advantage. You know where we critique them for letting through that Arden Forest S&D. I must also commend them for getting this first map in St. Marie du Mal S&D. They look exceptional on this map and game mode combination. Well, we'll see how they fare in the next match. There's still a few points to win now for FaZe as they close in on the finish line. 20 to go for the boys in red. And as you said, Jack, it is looking extremely comfortable for them. The three SMGs of FaZe clan. Aiming true, landing the shots. You know, man. What a headshot that he's was. Like, he's accidentally getting kills right now. Like, oh, okay, I needed to just shoot one bullet through a piece of metal. Okay. He's a happy accident, Jack. They're just, uh, they're just falling on his lap. Actually still getting a couple kills in the back end, but it seems all for the stats at the moment. Ten points remain for FaZe. Kenny coming in by the sides. Attach is going to be picked up. No, not necessarily. He does get cleaned there, and that's going to be pretty much all she wrote. In the next set of kills, it's going to be it for TK. This and look, set. typically you wouldn't normally do like this long outside pinch from Zuma, but right now, FaZe want to end the map right here. There's still 40 seconds left. They send Zuma on this long flank. There's two, there's three, and that, folks, might just be it. As Zuma looks to hold the front door, he's chaining together more kills. He's bought enough time for his team to flood this should be it phase strike first in our best of five here on the main stage